Hi! Hi folks. This video involves some name calling. Morons. There's a whole lot of morons in a certain country on the west side of the Sea of Japan, the Korean Peninsula, the southern portion, better known as South Korea. Oh, there are a lot of morons there now. Understand, I'm not saying all the people there are morons, but you have a considerable number of them that I'm going to mention, not by name, in this video, the reason for this video. President Trump appointed an ambassador to South Korea, a former admiral in the United States Navy of 40 years, Ambassador Harry Harrison. Well, the ambassador announced that he's going to resign come this November. Now, the news outlet Al Jazeera has an excellent article detailing the reasons for this Admiral Ambassador resigning. I have a link to it in the description. And in the article it mentions the Koreans are upset with this Admiral Ambassador because of President Trump's policy of America first. Huh? Yeah. They're upset that a chief executive of a nation is putting their nation first. As every chief executive of every nation should put their nation first. So you want President Trump to put South Korea first? You want President Trump to put America third, sixth, or tenth? And not the Rebecca. Morons. Now we maintain something like 28,000 troops in the Korean Peninsula ready to lay their lives on the line to protect the freedom and security of South Koreans. That doesn't protect my freedom. It's not protecting my security, South Koreans. So President Trump is saying, all right, you're going to have to absorb more of the cost. You want to add a billion dollars, absorb the cost of maintaining American troops willing to lay their lives on the line to protect your lives, your security. And the South Koreans are saying, get lost. That's too much. We don't want to pay that much. So there's a little back and forth going on, and they're, they're taking it out on the ambassador. As a result, they're, they're not coming to terms with this agreement. Something like 4,000 South Koreans had to be laid off who were probably working on American bases or industries related to, to those bases. So they're upset with the ambassador because of those layoffs. In addition, the Koreans are saying, we're not an American colony, and we're not your ATM machine. And you know something? You're right. You're not an American colony. So why are we there protecting you, and you not wanting to absorb the cost? If you were an American colony, you wouldn't have to pay anything. If you were an American territory, you would not have to pay anything. If you were an American state, you would not have to pay anything. But you're nothing American. Zip, zero, nothing American. So if you have our troops in your country protecting your security, your lives, your freedom, and you're not a colony, pay up. And you're not, yes, you are not our ATM machine. Our ATM machines are not hateful. <laughs> Another event that took place is there was a breach in the security of the ambassador's residence with protesters climbing the fence. And so there's a concern, where was this Korean police protecting the ambassador? See? Let me tell you something. Well, I'll get into this a little later. The South Koreans refused to sign an agreement with Japan, an intelligence sharing agreement, and the ambassador was critical of it. You're willing to cozy up to the communists in North Korea who want you dead, but you won't share intelligence with the Japanese. It's to the benefit of the Japanese they did not sign this agreement because within the South Korean intelligence community, I am positive there are some that favor the North Koreans more than the Japanese, thus releasing some information from Japan to the North. But the ambassador was critical of it, and that's another reason why they do not like the ambassadors, so they claim. But you want to do something? Here. Yeah. They don't like his mustache. Yeah, he's got a mustache. And they don't like the mustache. 
And the reason for them disliking the mustache is, they say, that mustache reminds them of the Japanese officials during the period of 1910 to 1945, that 35 year period where the Korean Peninsula enjoyed being part of Japan, thus taking them out of the Middle Ages into the modern world. So it reminds them of the Japanese officials. But you know what the real reason why they don't like this man? Because of his mother. They don't like his mother. You see, his father, an American in the U.S. military, I think he was in the U.S. military, stationed in Japan, and he married a Japanese lady. So, part is Caucasian, part is Japanese, and they hate him because of that. Not because of anything he did, because of the circumstances of his birth. And not because of any circumstance of his birth, because his heritage on his mother's side happens to be Japanese. And that's where I say, not all South Koreans, but there's a considerable group that dislike this ambassador for that, that are morons. And I say to them, Anato Abaka Hontani. Yeah, that's what they are. They're idiots. They're morons. But the Ambassador Harrison, come on home where you're loved and wanted. And I hope President Trump does not appoint anyone to fulfill that post and leave it empty. Because they'll be abused, just like Ambassador Harrison one, and also the ambassador that forgot his name when uh, Obama was there, that they sliced his face up. Not Obama, the American ambassador. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. Ha 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 ha!